God is at work in us and his purpose for which God has kept us where we are with the body we have with the talents we have with the capability we have with the families of parents who love us who stand with us so everything behind that there is a purpose of god if you recognize see the thing that are going in your life if you had some another parents they would not have stood with you but because of your particular parents their character god prepares them sometime some men are a uh, very very angry type they cannot face life if their children are going through so god will allow their children to go through in a particular way if you are going through a struggle or a pain god will prepare even before you a type of parents today the sun is somewhere else so uncle john and his auntie both pray they strengthen him support him and we know how his life is slowly slowly shaping getting shaped there is a boy there but god has kept the parents and to pray for them to stand with the him to support him the spiritual power which he cannot get in his life he can get through his intelligence he can meet a b c d he can get money he can get a job but something he cannot get which god supplies through his parents yes so now we find joseph was with the father with the brothers he was in the field he was not telling no 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 i will not go i will sit out but god separated him for a purpose god made him separated for a purpose and the father loved the boy more than anybody and the brothers felt jealous of him the father gave him a beautiful tunic a garment which the brothers saw it and they felt we will destroy that fellow we will destroy this cloth that's why when they saw the boy first their eyes fell on that dress pulled it the power of jealousy the power of anger the power of evil will work in our lives we should not get disturbed or surprised or pained that the evil is at work in us we need to recognize it we need to handle it and we need to cast it away to get back to our equilibrium to get back to our life of god that is very very important we need to recognize it but god doesn't leave when the evil is at work in us equally god what will he do he will begin to operate with his supernatural presence though we are on this earth god will allow the heavenly power to be active while you are living on this earth that you cannot handle the earthly attack of the enemy earthly problems that you have with the earthly equipments with the earthly uh, answers that's what we read in the book of second corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 to 5 it is true that we are on this earth but we cannot handle the forces of this evil that is at work on this earth with the earthly vessels with the earthly instruments so god supplies the supernatural or god supplies 
द हेवनली पावर हेवनली पावर टू हैंडल द यर्थली प्रॉब्लम्स हाउ द एनिमी अटैक्स आवर थॉट्स एंड हाउ वी हैव टू वेयर द हेलमेट ऑफ सल्वेशन टू प्रोटेक्ट अस फ्रॉम द इविल थॉट्स दैट कम टू अस हाउ टू प्रोटेक्ट यस सो द एनिमी विल बी अटैकिंग अस द एनिमी विल अटैक अस बट देन on the other hand god will supply his supernatural power that with his power with his instruments we handle the attack of the enemy on this earth we cannot overcome the attack of the enemy on this earth with what we receive from this earth so we need from the heavenly that's why what god does to joseph we read in genesis chapter 37 verse 5 god gave to joseph a dream a vision when we, when the enemy attacks us god gives us the vision that's what god gave it to joseph and he saw the visions that his sheep in the field they cut and make into sheaves no and his sheaf stands up and all the other sheaves are bowing he is going to be one day someone chosen by god for a purpose for a mission he knew it once that vision caught hold of him he could be able to put everything in place today the tragedy in the church is everyone's minds are busy with only one that i want to become somebody you don't need to become somebody allow the vision of god to rule you then you will live but to replace the vision the enemy will bring you should become a priest you should become somebody you should do this that's all your goal a small goal when god has kept up a big goal he will replace the big goal with a small goal and you will be busy only with that when will i become when will i become when will i become that's all my life after becoming priest what will you do what will you do but god says develop your vision what is the vision you are born somewhere you are grown somewhere god has brought you for a purpose there he has given you a vision a mission the more you deeper go into that vision and mission you begin to bloom you are in your father's family god brought you out of them what is the vision why did god bring you out of that yes and the enemy will continue his work 24 hours he is in our sleeps so you also need to work 24 hours 24 hours you have to be in touch with heavenly power to destroy the earthly evil spirits many of them the moment they see the yet the satanic attacks they forget to get connected with that with the earthly power they try to attack the earthly evil elements and they can't proceed some even get failed but joseph moved with the power of god the brothers saw they felt jealousy they pulled away his clothes they wanted to kill him but nothing could work when you move with the spiritual power presence of god it will look as though it is an end but the moment you reach there you realize it is not an end it is only a bend god takes you in a different direction and then you move on so they wanted to kill last minute god raised up ruben ruben said no 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 what will daddy i am the eldest follow god may ask me he thought god put into ruben's mind he said no 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 let we not kill our brother 
to make them happy make we will put him into that deep pit let him that when all the brothers go away i can save him that's what he thought god will prepare a way for you when you stand with god god himself will prepare a way for you yes that is the fifth truth we have to realize it when the boy was inside god sent the ismailites who bought that boy and sold that boy to a man who was working with the emperor pharaoh tomorrow joseph is to go to the emperor's house and become an assistant to the emperor that is taking place so many years before so many years joseph did not know so the potiphar in whose house he was sold he used to talk about his boss he used to make the things in his house as he has learned in the palace so he is already trained he did not know for what purpose he is trained his mind is saying what stupid you are you have lost your mother when you are born your mother died and your father loved you and now you are pulled away from your father and now you are pulled away from your home now you are pulled away even from your language you are sold to different place you are went through a lot all kinds of painful experience and even where they are sold so much of temptation the lady in that house is mad after him one after another problems the enemy will be attacking you one by one he will never leave you because he knows that you are special he knows that you are meant you are god's work is on you you are a person when problem comes you don't run around the world you run to god he knows your root he knows you have a purpose he knows through you something beautiful for god is going to take place only the trees which has the fruits get the stones so when things go wrong don't get upset don't get upset that's why jesus said in john's gospel chapter 16 verse 20 when you go through the things of this earth you will begin to weep unable to bear the struggle of life you will be crying and the people who know it they are supposed to stand by you your brothers your sisters your neighbors your friends oh you are going through this struggle oh your children are going through the struggle instead of standing by you they will be laughing at you Jesus said you will be going through pain and crying and the world will laugh at you but that is not the end but the god who is at work in you he will also when the evil is working 24 hours god is also working 24 hours with you so what will god do he will turn your sadness into joy you will be weeping and the world will be laughing but i will turn your sadness your tears into my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord